Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This love reading will be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with. What are their thoughts, feelings towards you at this time? And what are their intentions towards you in the near future? Keep in mind these readings are general, Leo. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And let's jump right into your reading for Leo. Sorry, angels, guys. What messages do you have for Leo? regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time spirit what is this person thinking feeling when it comes to leo what are their energies towards leo this person that leo is thinking about or connecting with what are their what are their energies towards leo Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so when I see the Hierophant with like the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, I think of marriage, long-term commitments. Um, this is a partnership that's based on values, tradition with the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. I didn't say that already. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful energy. What's after that? Four of Pentacles, okay? And the Queen of Swords. All right. So I, I, I get the sense that this person, when they think about you, they think, yep, that's who I want to be with. That's the partner I've been looking for. That's the partner I want to be with. Um, Leo is the one for me. Can I get some more insight into this person's energies towards Leo? Let's see what else I can get here. Can we get some more insight, please, into this person's energies towards Leo? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person's energies? True love and victory lap. Oh, yeah. Look at this energy. Leo is my true love. I want success with Leo. I want to see this through. So let's see, because this is looking really good so far. Bottom of the deck, oh, deep regret, of course. Let me not jump. Let me not jump into that. Let me let me see what the cards what the cards say. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Ah. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Interesting. I, I sense them waiting for you, waiting on you. Yeah, this person, I think that they've been waiting for you to maybe respond to their text, call them back, or give them some sort of like green light. I feel like this person has been thinking about you a lot. And... Um, Maybe you haven't been able to decide if you want to be with this person. Maybe something's going on here where the decision is up to you. And that decision has not been made to a swords. Some of you have stopped talking to this person. And so now they don't know what's going to happen. You know, Leo has stopped talking to me. Leo has abandoned me, thrown me out into the cold here. And now I don't know if I'm going to get my nine of cups. Yeah, three of wands. This person's waiting on you. What's this? The magician, ace of cups, and the eight of cups. So it could very well be that you walked away from this person, Leo. Or maybe there was a departure somewhere in like your the history you have with this person. And now they're manifesting you back or manifesting this new love with you or trying to win you back here. And they're, they're waiting for you to return, I feel. Okay. Tell me more. Why is the higher font here? Why is the higher font here? Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy. Why is the higher font here? 
the chariot oh my goodness cancer energy yeah this person um they are so into you can i get one more for the higher font please yeah the knight of wands exactly and there's the six of wands this person um i don't know they they are i don't want to you know just say obsessed but it's like they're super into you they want to come towards you they want to be with you really badly i mean knight of wands chariot the lovers and the hierophant yeah six of wands success victory queen of wands five of wands yeah I, I even see them like fighting for your attention um fighting for you to even look their way aries leo sag energy here with the uh, queen of wands and look at what's at the bottom of the deck the page of pentacles yes leo please give me a chance <laughs> tell me about the queen of pentacles Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The King of Wands. Yeah, this person's so into you. Tell me about the... Okay. That one fell almost to the floor. The World. Okay. Can I get one more, please, for the Queen of Pentacles? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, they're holding on to you, the idea of you being with you. This this is all they want. Yeah, talk to me, please. Let's work things out. Three of Pentacles. What do you need to hear from me? What do you need to see from me? I'm willing to do whatever it takes, Leo. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Tell me more about this person's energies, please, Spirit. When it comes to Leo. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Leo? Please forgive me. I'm taking a risk. Hmm. Please forgive me, Leo. At least on my channel, I feel like Leos have been chased by this one particular person that they just cannot they just cannot let you go i mean it's impossible and there's almost like an obsessive nature there like uh this energy of someone that's so consumed by this desire tell me more about this person's energies Can I get one more please about this person's energies i am not available i think this is you yeah, I think that's you because look what's at the bottom of the deck. I wonder if you are happy without me. I get the sense that, Leo, maybe you've moved on. And then there's I want you. Maybe you've moved on from this person um, and they just haven't moved on from you. What else? I'm hearing the wedding like theme song. So some of you could have even gotten married have found your person and then this person's kind of like oh my god i cannot believe that this is happening to me what else do we need to know about this person's energy towards leo i'm really sorry for all of the pain i have caused and what's at the bottom of the deck i'm dealing with a difficult situation okay but i feel like this is this difficult situation is the fact that you're no longer interested that you've moved on and they can't they can't deal with that you know I, I really do sense that this person is like no that can't be happening because leo is mine leo is for me almost like a possessive energy i really do feel like this person's waiting for you to return to them and if that doesn't happen like i don't know what will happen but you know what are their intentions towards leo towards this connection what are their this person's genuine intention spirit towards leo towards this connection what do we need to know i have a feeling i already know what's going to come up but we'll see what do we need to know about this person's true intentions towards leo oh my gosh the empress strength there you are leo and four of cups Bottom of the deck, the Three of Cups. Yes, 
and judgment. I we will reunite. We will come together. We I will have a second chance. I need to have a second chance with Leo. What's behind that? Yeah, two of cups. Because Leo is the one for me. Leo, let me know. Have you moved on? Let me know in the comments if you've moved on and someone just hasn't been able to be okay with that. They put you on a pedestal. They're seeing you as an empress. You have everything that they want. Um, that they're looking for in a partner. Why is the empress here? The knight of swords. Yeah. And the king of swords. They want to talk to you. They want access to you. Yeah, the magician. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. I want to talk to Leo. I want to tell Leo how I feel that there will never be another person like Leo for me. Can I get one more for the Empress? The Hermit. Yeah, I feel like uh, Leo, some of you are looking really good right now. There's the Five of Cups. This person is constantly thinking about you. You know, with regret, wondering if you're happy without them. You know, I mean, look at this energy. I wonder if you are happy without me. And it's like with this Five of Cups, you know. I'm constantly thinking, you know, at night. If Leo has truly moved on, has truly forgotten me. Because I haven't forgotten Leo. I almost feel bad for them. I mean, I'm sure, Leo, there's a reason why you are not available. I mean, that I know Leos don't just stick around for no reason. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person's really like motivated. Um, tell me about strength. Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Yep, fourth. Pentacles, why is strength here? Literally, I'm getting, the, I, they can't let go. Why is strength here? Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about strength. I think they maybe have even tried to replace you and they weren't able to. Yeah, the Emperor, Aries energy. It's not a Leo reading on my channel without Aries showing up somewhere. Um, They probably thought that they would be able to forget you. And that's not happening. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. This departure, it weighs on them. This person is not over what has happened. I feel like, honestly, they never thought this would happen to them. They can't believe that they haven't been able to win you back. They can't believe that maybe they've even tried and it didn't work. And they can't believe that. That you're not interested. That you're okay. How can Leo look so okay right now? You know, maybe you're even having like a post-breakup glow up. Maybe you you look so much happier with your new person. And this person cannot stand it. They cannot stand it. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Some of you, and this is not for all of you. Some of you, this reading is not about an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend. It's an ex-best friend. Okay? For some reason, this best friend was dropped in the past... And they can't believe that you were able to move on with new friends, new social circles, new boyfriend or girlfriend. And this person is like jealous and they they know that they have themselves to blame. But it's much easier to just act like, you, you know, how could Leo replace me, <laughs> you know, than, than anything else. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. They can't believe it. They can't believe that um, their intentions is to make you this offer, Page of Pentacles, but I really feel like you're going to reject them or keep them blocked or leave them on red. Tell me about the Four of Cups. I don't know, but I just get this energy that this person doesn't get it. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. I don't know. Like failure is not an option, but if they really were honest with themselves, failure is all that really sh should be expected here. Yeah, three of cups. We're going to come together. We're going to reunite. Leo will accept this offer that I have. This is my best offer. This, you know, how can Leo reject this offer? Yeah, there's the knight of wands again. I'm telling you, this person is almost like... Like, I'm starting to think obsessed is the right word. <laughs> like, uh, I'm sorry. It's almost like this person is just... 
I don't know. I, I mean, I don't want to diagnose anybody because this is, I'm, I'm a tarot reader. I'm no psycholo psychologist or anything like that. But I'm almost wondering if the fact that they've lost you for good is doing something to them where they can't handle it mentally, you know? Uh, they can't believe that this is their life, that this happened, and that, win you know, winning you back. It it's almost like victory is the only thing they can think about. Victory and success is the only possible result. They, they are not even considering anything else because failure is not an option. Um, but I really get the sense that a lot of you Leos have moved on, are dating new people, are making new friends, maybe even moved. I, I Picturing someone that has moved somewhere with like a coast and there's pictures that you're posting and this person's just like consumed with rage and, <laughs> and envy and just like, you know, the, it's weird because love and hate are so close on the spectrum, right? Like they're just right there, right next to each other in parallel. And so I feel like this person does have this attachment to you that's on the borderline of like hate. That's really what I'm getting. And that's why they can't let this go. Because a part of them is, you know, they're right on that border of love and hate, you know. And the feelings are so strong on both sides, you know. And I feel like this is someone that they, it will take forever for them to get over it. And I, I just heard like, um, and what about it? <laughs> and what about it? I think that's a meme with Ariana Grande, like a GIF or something online. That's the energy that I am getting from some of you. <laughs> or maybe it's just like my spiritual team. Anyways, so I'm going to leave it there, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments if it resonated for you. Like the video if you enjoyed how I read. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up with new videos from me. And uh, thank you so much for all of your kind comments and your support. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.